In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a data keeper node with the DNet storage protocol. Stick through, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to set up the node and I'm also going to be showing you exactly how much you could earn if you set yourself up a data keeper node. Okay, so before we jump in and I show you guys exactly how to set up yourself a data keeper node and how you can start to earn yourself passively with this, what a data keeper is is somebody that offers their unused storage space to the DNet storage users, creating a mutual beneficial condition for all without any intermediaries. By utilizing the DNet storage protocol, users pay for the storage they need, while data keepers are rewarded for the storage they provide. Rent out your computer, hard drive, or unused devices and benefit. So, in a nutshell, it seems very, very cool. And as you can see here on the side, it does have a little calculator. So as you can see here, you have, depending on the size of the amount of hard drive space that you can offer, the more storage capacity that you can provide, the more that you will get paid per month per year so if you can see on here as you can see if we can move this slider up the price and the amount that you can actually earn does start to increase quite a lot now you can run this on a uh, vps so you know for those of you that already have you know virtual private servers with you know plenty of storage space and things like that on there that's a great idea for those of you but like i say as well you know don't directly take any of these figures here as financial advice or anything like that you know these figures could go up and down you know this is a cryptocurrency as well so it is moving but if we do take a look over on to the coingecko.com, you can see here for the DNet file token, you can see that the price itself, let's have a little look over on a one year chart. Let's have a little bit of a look. You can see overall that's pretty steady. That hasn't been, you know, going too bad overall. So what we're going to need to do to get ourselves actually set up and to start earning with the data keeper node is to make sure that we have all of the system requirements on the computer of choice that we're going to be using so for those of you out there that run different crypto mining nodes you could potentially run those on there for those of you that watch my channel you could run this uh, either on one of your fry miners and things like that these will happily run and set themselves up on there now it does stay on there as well that you need at least 0.1 matic in your wallet you'll need one gigabyte of ram you'll need a stable internet connection of at least 20 megabytes per second and you'll need at least 512 of you know hard drive space for you to actually store that on there and start to do the store and earn process within there and then these are the operating systems which is basically all the generics which is very very simple to do so what we're going to need to do is we are going to need to download their windows release because on for the sake of this video i'm going to be downloading this onto my main computer and like i said you can set this up onto any of the computers of your choice you can get one of those little small little diddy computers and set it up through that way the first thing that we're going to need to do is make sure that our metamask wallet has got a little bit of matic in there so 0.1 is enough matic that you're going to need then make sure that your system has all the requirements as mentioned prior and then what we're going to do is we're going to take ourselves over to the latest version which i've already downloaded then what we're going to do from here is we're going to take ourselves over to the device of choice. So what I would recommend is to either install an external hard drive or something like that. And then I would place that onto there. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be dragging and dropping this onto the place of choice. I'm just going to replace that for the sake of it. And then what we're going to need to do to get this set up and actually start to register our account and start to, you know, get this to the store and earn, you know, point is we're going to need to open up the command prompt. So if we type in CMD in the search bar down at the bottom and then we paste in the location of the node that we just extracted there. So for me, it's in the G drive and then it's in the DNet folder and then we're running the dnode.exe. Now, if we press enter on that, this should load up as it has. And now it's asking us to enter our private key of the account that we want to import. So to do that, guys, what you'd need to do is you'd need to open up your MetaMask. You'd take yourself over to the three dots on the side. You'd press on your account details. And then from there, it would say show your private key. And then once you have copied your private key from here, then what you're going to do is take yourself back over to your command prompt. Then you're going to 
paste it in and once you have pasted in your private key you'll then need to enter a password and then you'll need to confirm that password as well now make sure that you do secure these details somewhere offline and somewhere that is private and do not share them with anybody at all then once this has done we can see here warning your ip address must be a public and static okay so just grab my ip address and enter in that into there right now and then we need to enter the default port which the default port is 55050 and then we need to press enter and then we need to select the storage device so the storage device is going to be g for my case like i say make sure that you check for yourself because like i say this could be a different drive how much do i want to think so so available five gigabyte well let me just verify that and see exactly how much is available on that hard drive and provide one more disk partition and for the sake of this i'm going to say yes and i'm going to place on there my alternate drive as well and i'll throw on there the f as well like i said for yourself i would just set this up and i would just use the one so let's put in the five there as well for the available and i'm going to put no on this point here select the rpc so let's press enter onto that and from here it says here if you see similar log congratulations you will soon get your first files and rewards okay so as we can see here not enough tby so as you saw there in the last clip it said that we didn't have enough rtb in our balance or tby so what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a data keeper id and from there that will allow our data keeper node to actually start to go up and run and start to earn and start making some money so to be a part of the network you should get a data keeper id to get an id you need to make a tby deposit the amount of tby necessary to launch each node is determined by the number of existing data keepers on the network at the moment for example if there is already 10 data keepers in the network your id will be assigned as 11 along with the necessary tby deposit it is important to note that the deposit remains in your own property and is not spent that's pretty good to know so let's move on to this side over to here so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to turn the tby that's inside of my wallet right now into rtby so that we can start to rent this and we can actually start to earn some rewards so if we take ourselves over to to the yellow rent button here we can see here that we have a figure now if we type in there six dollars eight five this is all dependent on the amount of tby that i currently have with inside my balance take ourselves up to about 21 days you can see that the rent fee will be 0.27 tby if we press on the rent you can see that the metamask wallet does pop up now and it gives us a transaction to go forward with so if we press confirm on there we give this just a few moments to process we should see if this pops up with any notification say it's confirmed or that it's done and if that is done all we need to do is take ourselves back over to our node get that run back up and we should be running from there so as you can see it says congratulations you now can become a data keeper instructions on downloading the dnode and then return 6.85 within 21 days to get your rental fee back rental fee back i can see there okay so now that we have our data keeper node up and running successfully what we're going to, need to do is take ourselves over to the app store or google play store and download the dnet storage web3 cloud app and then from there we'll need to connect ourselves up and we'll be able to actually start to see exactly how much we're earning monthly so currently at the moment it's staying that my node is earning around about 37 dollars and 43 i'll pop a picture for you guys on the screen somewhere over that way and you can see here that like i say it's earning that now within a day's earnings it's kicked out around about 79 cents so that's not too bad and then if we go on to the boost earning page you, you can see exactly that my total you know reward balance for the month is actually 64 dollars and 20 cents that's because i've got a few of these boost features in you know set up on the account so as you can see there we have a total boost and that gives you a time six boost then you've also got 
got the referral cord. Now, like I say, for the referral cord, that would normally be an input box. I'll leave that cord for you guys down in the description. And then you actually get paid, uh, uh, you know, like a bonus for the amount if you once you start uploading files. And for the uploading files, if you have a look there, you can see if you turn on like auto update, auto backup for your phone, you can get that working, you know, onto there and get paid. You can also get a little bit of a bonus as well for making a Twitter post. And then there's also, you can see there as well, um, the 2.5 times for becoming a data keeper. So if you send it up to become a data keeper in the first place, it's already going to give you out that bonus on there anyway. So overall, it's not too bad. I will do a bit of an update on this maybe in about, let's say, 30 days time once this node has finished its rent period. Maybe I'll give you guys a bit of an update. Let's see whether it was profitable. Let's see whether it is interesting. And let's see, you know, exactly, you know, what we get out of this as a project overall. But so far, it seems to be very, very similar to, you know, like having like an Apple Cloud where you're able to back up and store all your files, except like I say, this is all decentralized. So, you know, those factors are a lot more interesting to some people than others. You know, make sure you take that into account. Like I did notice as well, if you, you know, look over on to the website, you can see they've got different storage plans, you know, for, you know, 100 gig for five, five bucks a year. I mean, these, these are really, really great prices. And, you know, to actually get those, you will need to purchase, you know, some of the DNet file token, you know, to actually do that. So like I say, guys, so far, my overall opinion is it's set up, it's running, it's working. I'm going to give this about 30 days to see exactly how much I do earn from this. But overall, so far, it's saying I'm going to get around about 30 to 60 bucks for what I've got set up so far. You know, a few things that I would say before, you know, I do finish the video is make sure that when you are setting up your node, make sure that you run your PowerShell or your command prompt, run that in administrator, make sure that you put in the correct private key, make sure that you you know, put your password in there and you secure it all up and make sure that you back up all the information for yourself. But let me know down in the comments, is this something that you guys are going to be setting up to mine yourself? Have you already set yourself up a DNet data keeper node? Let me know down in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.